Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am SMA Syed Saul Hamid. I am doing my master degree in computer applications. Uh, my question is, uh, what kind of knowledge we need and what we do to get to perform our salah with concentration? Okay. We are sort of off the topic a little bit, but anyway, uh, what kind of knowledge is, should be given priority? It should be obviously religious knowledge, because that is for both this life and the next. Included in that knowledge that we need to seek is also knowledge of this world. As you're seeking computer studies, it is something that we need for the functioning of society, functioning of life here today. So it is a valid area to seek knowledge in also. How to seek correct knowledge about Salah in, in order to make uh, the Salah the best way? Well, Prophet ﷺ said, Sallu kamara aytumuni usalli. Pray as you saw me pray. So we need to know how did the Prophet ﷺ pray? Externally. That's where we start from. Externally, how did he pray? Now, it may involve some small things that we might say, well, that's not so big. Now, some people, when they're going to raise their hands, they raise it and touch their ears, right? As if they want to make sure that their ears are still on the head, right? You touch your ear or something like this before. Of course, there is no mention in the description of the prophet's prayer that he touched his ears, you know? No mention. It just said he raised his hands to the level of his ears or to the level of his shoulders. And this is just an example I'm giving, right? And one might say, but you know, what's the big deal? If you touch your ears or you put your hand here, what's the big deal? Well, the Prophet ﷺ said, pray as you saw me pray. If it wasn't important, he wouldn't have said that. Right? That's what we have to believe. It is important. Because he didn't say things which weren't important. He was sent by Allah to tell us the important things. So if he said, pray as you saw me pray, then that's what we should do. Isn't it? So we don't say this is not important. No. If he said, what, pray as you saw me pray, then we try to do it as closely as possible. Externally and internally. So he gave us advice in terms of when we're praying, if things happen which might distract us from our prayer, what we should do. And so, so we read about the prayer. We study the prayer. We should know the prophetic way of prayer because it was the best way to pray. 